we got some stuff to talk about. everybody how are y'all doing we have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video but before we get started give the video a thumbs up y'all already know the vibes like like destroy that like button eradicate decimate that like button all right the first news item my 2020 game of the year last of us 2 game was so dope man everybody was hating on the game <sighs> he died why did they kill him blah 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 get good the game was epic it was awesome love the story plot everything but last of us three they've begun ladies and gentlemen they have begun at least with the outline of the game. This is coming from Eurogamer.net. I meant to talk about this over the weekend. It was my son's birthday, so I want to talk about it now. And we have a couple other dope news items after this. But coming from Eurogamer, The Last of Us 3 has a storyline outline. And so Naughty Dog has penned a story outline for The Last of Us 3, which... Um, creative director Neil Druckmann hopes one day can see the light of day. And so when asked about it, Druckmann said, I don't know how much I want to reveal, but an outline for the game has begun. Actual engineering and development has not begun yet, but the fact that they have a story arc, a story plot, good signs, good signs. And this is a series that I think they need at least a trilogy. The first game was all about love. Uh, the love between, um, um, what's the boy name? Joel and Ellie. Uh, the bond that they had. The second game was just about vengeance, bro. Everybody was out for, bro, this game was so ruthless, bro. Some of the story plots, I like, I did not expect that. And so this was vengeance. The third game has to be about reconciliation. There has to be some closure because the second game, I'm not spoiling anything, but there was no closure at the end of the second game. And so here's two. I think this is a series because some series are like, some games are like, all right, one game was enough or two is enough. This, I think they needs to be a trilogy. There needs to be a third one to bring closure. And so Last of Us 3, the outline, is in um has been um finished but the actual development hasn't begun yet let's go now um there is supposed to be a multiplayer component to last of us 2 that should be releasing we don't know when but the um, neil Druckmann has already confirmed that a multiplayer is coming for last of us 2 which should be dope i'm thinking of uncharted the multiplayer in the games like uncharted was dope i think the first game had multiplayer that was pretty good too all right next news item bro returnal and some of the problems the game is actually having now let me just say this right now this is my game of the year for 2021 loving this game if you go check out my gameplay last night on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship we beat the first boss we're into the second biome the game is fantastic Everything I ever wanted in a 3D Metroid game is in this game right here. First, I'm more of a fan of a third-person perspective. We have um, Celine in a third person. The game is just amazing. Um, if you don't, if you have a PS5, I, I recommend it. It's a must buy. The game is tough, but it's so rewarding. But I have experienced some crashing. I was just talking about my stream last night. 
But if you were hanging out with me during the daytime yesterday, I was playing the game. I was having the best run I've ever had in the game. And then it crashed on me. So, the game has been crashing. Um, the developers are aware of some of the um, things that they want to include in the next patch in the game. Now, this is coming from PushSquare.com. The developers are blaming Sony and the PS5 for the crashing. But nah, fam, I can't let them off the hook. I think it's both parts. This is the article from Push Square. Shout out to the homie Bucks. I got to start giving my sponsor shout outs. Because they be dropping these articles to me, hooking me up with some content for the channel. Returnal crashes may be Sony's problem. Other bugs being investigating. And so the developers are saying that um, this is a spokesperson from the game on Discord. They said that this is an issue with the platform. We sent our report to Sony. Specifically, it has something to do with the press start system. This is why I say it can't just all be on Sony. Because there's games that work perfectly fine on the PlayStation 5. So, yes, it could be something on Sony's end, but you know the platform, you should be able to fix your game accordingly. So I blame both sides. Now, here is a full list on Discord of, um, from their, from the Returnal Discord of things that we should expect to be fixed in the upcoming patch. Game does not have a save option. Not able to interact with the fabricators and not able to pass through doors. If you are using a pre-order suit, which I have, I've been using that pre-order suit and I've had several times where I just had to restart because the doors won't open and respond. Audio issues, audio may be too loud, loud or cut off completely, never had that issues. Barnacles not appearing visually. After remapping controls, some interactions may not work. Haven't had that issue because I haven't remapped my controls. But in a nutshell, some technical hiccups with the game, but for me, there have been, it happened once where the game crashed on me, which is tough. But overall, I'm enjoying this game. I am really liking, this game is so dope, bro. And so, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Tonight, I'm gonna be on 2K just because I haven't played 2K. I'm gonna play some Call of Duty and 2K on my gaming channel. Tomorrow, I'll hop back on Return them. Bruh, speaking of Call of Duty, Battlefield 6 screenshots have leaked on the internet. And according to this leak, these are screenshots taken from the trailer. Here's one of the screenshots. And they're saying that tornadoes or something like that is in the game. So Battlefield 6 screenshots have leaked. Take it with a grain of salt. No, not take. Well, you still have to take a grain of salt until EA officially reveals something. But um, interesting, interesting stuff. All right. Before we head out, I have to remind you guys. Apex Legends. Um, Legacy Mode, 3v3 Arena PvP does come out tomorrow. I will be streaming it on my gaming channel. I don't know what time it comes out tomorrow, but I definitely will be on that Apex Legends. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming, bro. We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at ob one plays And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.